Hi everyone, Nathan here, and welcome back to part 4 of my Hypercube Evolution build. In today's quick part, we will be installing the Core XY belts into the frame. Let's get started. To start, we'll clamp down one side of the X gantry, like so. We insert our belt into the small slot on the side, and then we do the same for the other belt. Then we want to insert the little tensioning pieces. Next, we fold the belts over and place the retaining clamp. So we put the clamp in place like so. I found it easiest to tighten the middle screw, then pull the belts a bit tight and then tighten the others up. First we want to run the belts through the right hand XY idler bracket. The top side we want the smooth side of the belt to run past the smooth pulley and the bottom side we want to run with the tooth side of the belt against the tooth pulley. Then we want to run both belts through the two toothed idlers in the corners of the frame. Next we want to run both belts through the left hand side XY idler bracket. But this time we'll do the belts in reverse. So the top side runs past the toothed pulley and then the bottom belt runs through the slot and then around the toothed pulley on the stepper motor then back around the smooth pulley and into the XY gantry. At this point we want to pull the belts tight so that there's no slack. Then we insert the little tensioning pieces. Then we fit the clamp down on the other side. Again starting with the middle screw then we want to make sure all six screws are nice and tight then we want to push the X gantry up against the stepper motors as you can see mine is not quite square so what we want to do is tighten the four screws on the X gantry so that we square up the x-axis on the frame. Once we get it nice and square you want to make sure that the x gantry is square at the other end. Next we want to make sure the belts and the pulleys attached to the stepper motors are nice and lined up. Easiest way to do this is to undo the grub screws then pull the X gantry away and back to the step motors and this will self-center the pulley on the shaft. That completes today's quick video of the Hypercube Evolution belt configuration. In the next build part we will be installing the Z-axis into the frame. Please be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when the next part of this build is made available. If you have any thoughts or comments on this video, please make sure to leave a comment in the section below, as I want to make videos that help empower you to build and make anything. See you later.